There are worldly things and there are spiritual things. The worldly things, let's be honest, they can upset you. But the spiritual, it renews you. It rebuilds you, thought by thought, cell by cell. It says in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 12, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is from God. This is talking about the spiritual secret to harmonize the mind and harmonize the heart with God's spirit, to be in tune with God's harmony in our world. How do we do this? Well, we do it through focus. We begin our day with prayer. We're aware of God as the source of all of our good. And our mind becomes open and it becomes receptive so that the wisdom of God, the compassion of God, the love of God connect you with the greater harmony in the world. You keep your mind free from doubt, free from fear, by allowing only positive thoughts that are uplifting to remain in your mind. You speak and you act in harmony with God by doing what you know to be right and good. And God will guide you to what is right and good. If ever a challenge arises, you turn to God for guidance. If there is a disagreement, you ask God to reveal the way of love and peace. And you harmonize yourself with God, and it makes all things possible to you and to your life. I pray today that you are attuned to the divine harmony that is from God, that you are in tune with the harmony of God in all.